The White House isn't alone in its campaign to bring accountability to bad actors within the FBI and the intel community. And now key members of the Senate are ramping up their own efforts to do so. Fox News correspondent Kristen Fisher is here on that, but she begins with more detail on the Brennan affair today. Kristen. Hey, Laura. Well, President Trump has been threatening to do this for weeks, but I think few thought that he would actually do it. Even House Speaker Paul Ryan had initially dismissed this as him trolling people. But today he did it. President Trump revoked the security clearance of former CIA director John Brennan. Now, Democrats, they have been using words like Nixonian, illegal, a gross abuse of power. But the White House press secretary says the president is well within his constitutional authority to do it. Mr. Brennan has recently leveraged his status as a former high-ranking official with access to highly sensitive information to make a series of unfounded and outrageous allegations, wild outbursts on the internet and television about this administration. And this may be only the beginning. The White House says it is considering taking similar action against people like James Comey and Susan Rice. So here you have the White House potentially going after the security clearances of several former top national security and law enforcement officials. At the same time, you have Republican Senator Lindsey Graham urging action against the entire Justice Department. He wants a special counsel to investigate why a DOJ official, Bruce Orr, was allowed to investigate then-candidate Trump, while Orr's wife worked for the opposition research firm that produced that now infamous dossier. These investigations against Trump were corrupt to the core. They gave Clinton a pass. Bruce Orr was at least unethical. We need a special counsel to look at all things Department of Justice and FBI when it came to the Trump uh, investigation, particularly the counterintelligence investigation. And I should mention that Bruce Orr uh, was one of the people that the White House press secretary said was on the list of people that they're considering to potentially revoke a security clearance. Laura. Kristen, thanks so much. And lo and behold, here. Yeah, you what, see him at the tape? And said, you see him here, sense. Lindsey I Graham. Was, uh, I agree with every word he <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that guy <laughs> in the tape, but we got I gotta here. go. <laughs> so uh, well, tell us about Brendan. I mean, you you on board with this idea. I think you were one of the people who also thought it was a pretty good idea. Well, here's what I think. You can be the former CIA director and a critic of the president. You just can't lead the resistance movement at the same time. If you look at CIA policy about how a former director should act, he is uh, well over the line. Yeah, well, he had... They have a, actually a policy about this. Yeah, well, he had a history of, 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 of lying, of, of the Senate investigation. What he, what, what, what he, on that, about what he did with the, the Senate stab, is they were spying on the computers, the Senate lied about it, to, and Dianne Feinstein found out Why about it. Why would this administration share anything with him as much as he hates them? He really thinks Trump is worse than every enemy we have. So I just think the way he's carried himself hurts the intelligence community. Uh, let's talk about your idea for a special counsel yes. to investigate the Justice Department. How would that work, and what are your grounds? Well, number one, I'm tired of getting on TV telling you all the bad things. I want somebody who's not a politician. Uh, let's put the shoe on the other foot. What do you think Democrats would be saying if a Republican, uh, if the RNC hired a former British agent to go to Russia to get Clinton dirt on Clinton, do you think they'd be wanting to look at whether or not there was a crime if a FISA warrant was issued based on a document prepared by a, for, a foreign agent that's a bunch of political garbage? So I'm tired of telling everybody in the country how bad this is. Have somebody to do uh, for the FBI and the, the FISA warrant process, what Mueller's doing for Trump. What would it entail, uh, and who would it, who would be subject to this review within, you can't investigate the whole FBI, but there's a core within the FBI. Bruce or the fact, does he have a, still have a security clearance? It I mean, would, I guess he does, because they're the considering The email investigation it. was a joke. From the beginning? They were in the tank. They had a bias against Trump and for Clinton, and if you had done what she had done, you would you would not we would not be talking. Would you here. still be a member of the jail? I court? would. I would be court-martialed. Right. There are people sitting in jail doing far less than her. So I want somebody to look at how the the Clinton email investigation was conducted, why it was dismissed, and the FISA warrant. Every American should be concerned about the rule of law, and I think the FISA warrant process here was horribly abused, and maybe in a criminal fashion. Could could the judges who were sitting in in reviewing that? application for the search warrant for the for the wiretap right. of Carter Page is there any process within the FISA courts to to review that again I mean if I were the judge 
and they didn't tell me uh, that the opposition candidate, not just an opposition, but the candidate paid for that dossier, which was a critical part, if so not the most critical so part. So there's a footnote in there that's a, 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 a reference that this guy may have political motives. They never told the court the of truth course not. that he was on the payroll of the DNC. But what about that judge? What about the judge, ju and judges who... I would be really upset. But couldn't... I, I guess there's no way, you know, way to go back and unwiretap somebody, but... There should be like sanctions. I mean, there should be an ability to issue sanctions against the Justice Department officials who signed off on this. Somebody I'm sorry. has to watch those who watch us. And Mr. Horwitz is a good guy, but he doesn't have the power of a prosecutor. The corruption at the Department of Justice and the FBI regarding the Clinton email investigation, the early stages of the Trump Russia investigation were corrupt to the core. And I think somebody needs to look at it outside of politics. If Mr. Rosenstein's watching, what more has to happen for you to be convinced that somebody outside your organization needs to look to make sure that we clean up the mess? James Clapper tonight said, our discussion of this, the constant criticism of FBI and Intel, is undermining those hallowed institutions. Let's watch. But I spent a good part of my life, 50 plus years, 34 of it in the military, defending this country and its values and standards and institutions, which I feel, as do the others involved here, are under uh, serious assault. And this is gonna get worse before it gets better, I predict. So it's Trump's fault or Republicans' fault for questioning how this whole investigation, how the special counsel was appointed, Comey set up with the whole thing. I mean, you can't question, if you question it, you're undermining the authority or integrity. Of the, uh, what about the integrity undermined by them? What bothers me is not, it's one, not one Democrat seems to be concerned that the people in charge of the Clinton email investigation clearly were in the tank for uh, Clinton and hated Trump. Nobody seems to be concerned that a political document prepared by a political party uh, using a foreign agent to go to a foreign country to get information on a political candidate was used to get a warrant. Nobody seems to be concerned about it. I've been in the military 33 years. I love the FBI. I'm very concerned about what I've seen. Uh Senator, birth tourism in the United States, birthright citizenship. The president hasn't talked all that much about that. He did on the campaign. Yeah, he should. It's become a huge problem in this country. Um, Ads in Russia, in China. Sure. We'll get you a U.S. passport. Come here, have a baby. We'll put you up. We'll find your doctor. We'll get your passport made for your yeah. baby. Bingo. It's done. How, do, how does this get turned around? Well, I think you need to change the laws. I mean, if you go to France and have a child, you're not a French citizen, but people abuse our laws. They actually get tourist visas close to the delivery date. They come to a resort with a maternity ward to just to have the child in America. Well, we uh, we want to have a you. We want to have you back to get into that further because I think it is it. a massive, massive scandal. Uh, thank you so much, Senator Graham.